On the night before my ordination to the priesthood, I walked from the cathedral into the city, and as you might expect, dressed as a priest on a Friday night draws a lot of attention. And uh, I was walking into Myers, and a group of young women accosted me. They began staring. Come up and ask me, are you a real priest? <laughs> and I said, well, yes, <laughs> I'm the real thing. And she said, oh, I thought you were on the way to the fancy dress party in King's Cross. <laughs> and she went back to tell her friends, no, he's the real thing. And the friends just looked at me with stunned faces, with shock and horror that a young man actually might consider being a priest. Faith, Christian faith especially, is a shocking thing. It's a shocking thing to our culture, to our country, because it stands for something very, very beautiful, which many people aren't able to see. And you don't need to be a priest to witness to that other reality. Precisely by living the Christian life, in the silence of our day-to-day -day lives, purely living the moral life of a Catholic, calls people to question themselves. What is life about? What is really important in life? What am I doing with my life and is it really worth it? Redfield means a lot to me. It means a lot to me on a number of things, but I want to encourage you today as young men to appreciate the gift of your faith. The gift of your faith which you are able to practice in a very beautiful way in this school. And I want to encourage you. You have every reason to be proud to be Catholic. You have every reason to be proud to be Catholic. Because when you leave this school, you will be challenged no end. And people, when they see you living a Christian, Catholic life, will want to torment you, challenge you, and even hurt you. But believe it or not, if you truly embrace this life, if you truly fall in love with Christ and the Mass, then you will be the happiest group of young men in society. And people will begin to ask you, why are you so happy? What do you have that I don't have? And that's not easy. That's why today we celebrate Our Lady Help of Christians, the patroness of Australia, asking for her powerful intercession for us to have the courage to stand up and say, yes, I want to be holy. I want to be a saint. And I will do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. And I never ever dreamt of being a priest. I can tell you that. I had planned to be married by the time I was 21. And have 10 kids. A millionaire by the time I was 35. <coughs> but that strong call would not go away. I'd be walking down the street. Towards Castle Towers. And a lady would come up to me and say. You know one day you're going to be a priest. A lady I'd never met before. Never seen again. God will get you if he wants you. And I have no doubt that God is preparing many young men in this school to be priests, to be members of Opus Day, to be members of many religious orders. But have the courage to give your life to God. Because it is the greatest gift. It is the greatest gift. And it will bring you happiness no end. So my dear friends, do not be swayed by the culture. Let the culture be swayed by your joy. Never, ever give up your faith. Use this time to question. Ask the questions. Because you will get the answers. And if you live this life, if you leave this school proud of your faith, then it will stand you in good stead for the rest of your life. And everyone will ask you, why are you so happy?